subscribers and welcome to Coast's Ahoy quest guide. We will be completing this without making Ecto tokens because it's much easier that way. The quest requirements are Priest Imperial and Rest as Ghost. Skill requirements are 25 Agility and 20 Cooking. The item requirements are 3000 coins, weapon and armor, equip them, remember runes or ammo, one thread, one silk, a spade, tool belt doesn't work, oak shield bow, bowl of water, leather gloves, bucket of milk, three red, blue and yellow dice, a coast big amulet, which I will show you how to get next, keep the coast big amulet equipped for the duration of the entire quest, some food if you are really low level and three free inventory slots. The recommended unlocks are Lowstones to Lumrids, Portsarim and Canifis. Have some quick teleport charges from using Vispax to speed things up. And the enemy to defeat is level 42. Let's go! To get the Ghost Big Amulet, use the Lowstone to Lumbridge. Go southwest. Keep going to south and to the most southern building. Talk to father. Absent tree. Now to start off the quest, use the lost on the port stream. Go east to the docks and go to the southern section. Click on a crew member to chart their ships and select port fast matters. We will be using this method a lot. Go west to the quest icon to your northwest. Put on your coast peak amulet and talk to Velorina. Option 1. Option 1. Accept the quest. Go west through the energy barrier. Make sure you have the Ghost Peak Amulet on. Talk to Necrovarus. Use the lost on the port stream. Head east and to the southern docks. We will be using the shorter ships again. So click on a crew member and select port bus matters. Go west to the quest start location. Talk to Velorina. Option 1. Use the lowstone to Canifis. Put on leather gloves and pick up some nettles. Use the nettles to the bowl of water and you will get nettle water. Go west. And then northwest. You should see a little building next to the Slayer Tower. Head over there. Go through the door and talk to the lady. Option 1. East of the house, chop down a tree and light it up. Right click, right click, right click the nettle water and use it to the bonfire. Now we have nettle tea. Talk to the old crone again in the house. Option 1. 
you should get a porcelain cup in your inventory. Now right click, right click, right click the Nello bottle to the porcelain cup and click on bucket of milk to use it to the porcelain cup. Talk to the old crone, option one. Option one. You have a model ship in your inventory now. Click on it to repair it. Use the lowstone to canvas. Head east, past the castle. Northeast of the farming patches, there is a ship wreck. Head over there and climb up the ladder. Climb up another ladder. Now on the top of your screen, you will see the wind speed. We need to search the mast when the wind speed is low. So keep your eye on that and take your hand off the space bar. When the wind is on low, click on the mast. You will see the colors of the ship you need to mimic. So you will be using your dice to the ship in your inventory and selecting the right part and the right color for it. Keep doing this until you have all of the different parts and you have used the correct dice into the ship. I'll get back to you when we get this done. When you're ready, climb down the ladder, talk to the old man. Option three. Make sure you get a key. If you don't get a key, you need to die the ship again. Use the key to the chest, open the closed chest, and you will get a map scrap. Go west and cross the gangplank over to the rocks. Click on the edges of the rocks to jump over to the next rocks and do this until you get to the end. There is a chest which we will loot. Click on the chest to open it. Click on it to search it and you will get another map piece. Make your way back by clicking on the edges of the rocks to jump across. Cross the gangplank. Climb down the ladder to your east. To your east you will see some chests. Search the first chest to your south and you will spawn an enemy. Search the same chest, kill the enemy. Search the same chest, 
and you will get the last map piece. Use the map pieces together to get a map. Use the lowstone to port serum. Head east and to the southern part of the docks. We will be using the shorter ships again. Click on a crew member and select Port Fast Matters. Go south, right click the coast captain next to the little ship and select Travel. Go south to the southern part of this island. There's a very specific spot which we will need to dig. Take a peek at the video to see the correct spot and click on your spade to dig. You should get a book, go north, right click the coast captain next to the ship and select travel. Go northwest and talk to the red guy, Akharanu. Option 1. Go west to the pub. Talk to Robin. Select option 2. And 1. Now we need to play some rune draw. We need to win 4 times and I will recommend a strategy of clicking draw until you have around 20 score and then keep on clicking hold. You win if Robin pulls the death rune and you will lose if you pull the death rune. So every time the round is over, talk to Robin and select option 2 and 1. You need to win 4 times in total and this is all based on RNG. So best of luck and I will get back to you when we get this done. When you have won four times, talk to Robin, option two, and he will sign your bow. Go east to the rocks and talk to the red guy again. You will get a book. Go west, back to the bar, talk to the coast innkeeper. Option 4, Option 1, go northwest through the energy barrier, climb down the trapdoor, climb down again. Climb down again. Climb down the stairs. 
go east and climb down the stairs. Click on the pool of slime and the bucket of slime will get used to the pet sheet automatically. Make sure to click on the pool of slime again to get a bucket of slime and make sure you have it in your inventory. Use the lost on the port stream. Go east and to the southern docks. Click on a crew member and travel to port fast matters. You can't if you have bed sheets with you. Get rid of the bed sheet and we will make it later with the bucket of slime. Go west and to the bar. Talk to the coast innkeeper. Option 4. Option 1. Use the bucket of slime to the bed sheet. Go west. Talk to Kravingas. Option 1. Click on the bed sheet to wear it. Keep talking to the coast villagers and select the option 1 to gather signatures. You need to gather 10 in total and you can keep talking to the same coast villager. If they want Ecto tokens, talk to the same coast villager or other ones until you can get their signature for free of charge. I will get back to you when we have 10 signatures. When you have 10 signatures, remove the bed sheets that you have equipped. Talk to Gravingas. Pass the energy barrier. Talk to Necrovarus. He will drop a bone key. Right click and pick it up. Go upstairs. Use the key to the door to your southwest. Open the door. Open the coffin. Click on it to search it. And you will get mystical ropes. Use the lowstone to canvas. We are heading to the old crown. So head west. and northwest to the little building. Talk to the old crone. Option one. She will make your coast peak amulet into an enchanted one. Make sure you have it equipped. Use the lost on the canvas. Head east to the Ecto Fantas. This will take a while.
talk to Necrovarus at Ectophantas. Option one. Now you can use the energy barrier without Ecto tokens. Pass the energy barrier. Go east to the quest icon. Talk to Velorina. Congratulations. You can get rid of the treasure map, the bed sheet, and the key. They are not needed for anything. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.